here at OCU School of Law, we're hearing from legal experts as well as former state officials taking a look behind the curtain of the legal process of executions. There's something changing in Oklahoma. We are returning to doing actual executions after a long time of not having executions. The OCU School of Law Diversity Council hosted the third annual lecture series focusing on the legal process behind executions in the state. Students and professors learned from legal experts who have worked on both state and federal cases that led to the death chamber. A capital case takes so long from start to finish um, and we want them to sort of fill in those gaps and tell us why it would take that long and then give us their real life perspective. With more executions scheduled to take place this year, they say it's vital law students better understand the legal process. It's an intimidating thing to talk about, but we have the experts at the school. We have professors, we have attorneys who work these cases. And so we want students to ask questions, to feel safe to do so, um, and maybe to get into the work and, and explore it, research it, and maybe be a part of um, making a change. And it's not just for law students. Legal experts say even the community should have a better understanding about how and why the state uses the death penalty. I think it's important for the public to understand how different these cases really are. That there really is a, a, a very big difference, not just in severity, but difference in kind when the government chooses to execute, to, to take the life of a citizen for a commission of a crime. Oklahoma's next execution is scheduled for May.